Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeffrey and today I want to talk about my favorite features in LogSeq. Now a few months ago I made the switch from Rome Research to LogSeq as my uh, outliner note-taking app of choice. I currently use both LogSeq and Obsidian in my digital mind. I'll put a link on the screen to uh, that series that I'm creating. But I thought I would go through what my favorite features are that I think LogSeq does really well. So let's dive in and take a look. So the first feature that made the list and is the reason why I switched from Rome to LogSeq in the first place is the fact that it uses Markdown files. So I can use the same repository of nodes for both LogSeq and Obsidian and I can get them to work together. So I don't have to maintain two separate systems of notes to use the two different apps and use both of their uh, best features of both. It really is getting the best of, of two different worlds. And I'll include a link to how you can get LogSeq and Obsidian to work together. But the fact that I can just use plain markdown files for LogSeq is one of the best features, I think, of the application. The next feature to make its way onto the list is something small, but comes in really handy when you're creating new notes. And that is being able to edit notes through the, through the links that you create. So what do I mean by this? So let's say if I had a newly created page, I just put in the, the double brackets so this page didn't exist before. Well, if I hover over that link, you can see a little pop out comes with the page there. And it's not just a preview. I can actually click in here and edit the note uh, right away. So if I wanted to put you know, a tag so it goes into an inbox or add a template, anything that I wanna quickly note down on this newly created note, I can do so without having to leave the page that I created it from. And so when I move away and come back, you can see this is already created in the note itself without having to open it. A pretty cool functionality of the app, but something uh, that isn't that flashy, but I think is really good. So some functionality that LogSeq comes with straight out of the box is the ability to create flashcards. Now for the last month or so, I've been learning Python and I've been playing around with this feature and I must say that it is pretty simple and easy to create cards for you to review what you've learned uh, from your notes directly in LogSeq. So how do you create a card? There's a couple ways you can do it. You can either add the card tag to the end of a block or you can uh, right click on the block itself and click make a card and then that way that will show up when you review the the flashcards. The other thing that you can create are clothes. So this one I've actually been using for these uh, hidden elements. So when it shows up, you can try and guess what it is. It's kind of like a fill in the blank uh, for the, the card. So what does it look like when you actually use it? Well, you can click this flashcards button uh, here and then you can toggle through your card. So here I have a couple clothes. Uh, you know, object oriented pro programming, objects have attributes and methods. And you can use a shortcut S to show the answer. So if you have any uh, blocks nested underneath the card, then they'll show up. And you can also hit S again to show the close. And then once you're gone through the card, you can uh, either say that you've forgotten the material, so it'll keep recycling, took a while to recall, or that you remembered it. And you can use the, the shortcuts F T or R, and then it will move you on to the next card. So really cool function built in to be able to learn new material with flashcards in LogSeq. Now these next two features I think are some of the best functionality that are built into a note-taking app straight out of the box. And the first one is PDF functionality. So to add a PDF, to your graph, you just drag and drop the PDF uh, file, and then that way it'll save it within your repository for files, so you can delete it wherever you had it uh, download or saved from. And then what you can do is when you click on the PDF, it will open it in the sidebar so that you can review and take notes side by side very easily. But, I mean, that would be cool in and of itself, but the added functionality of being able to 
highlight a section from the from the PDF. So let's say I wanted to highlight that. That's pretty cool. But I can, once I highlight, that will copy a link to that highlight on my clipboard. So if I go back to my LogSeq log -seek graph and paste, you will see that I now have a highlight that is pinned and linked to that location within the PDF itself. So I can write, you know, a, a note under here. I can continue on through the through the document. So let's say I wanted to take a, uh, a a highlight down here and put this in my graph. And then when I want to return, let's say I'm, I'm got part way through, I want to return. If I click on this link here, it will open up the PDF at the location where I took the highlight. Really cool, awesome functionality built in for working with PDFs and taking notes on PDFs built directly in with LogSeq. No need to download any plugins or, or extensions or anything, just straight out of the gate. What you can do with, with PDFs is really awesome. So by far and away, my favorite feature in LogSeq has to be the powerful queries that you can do within your graph. So let me show you a couple examples of, of what you can do. And I'm sure there's a lot more that you can do with these as well. So in my evergreen note, section, I have a query set up to look for anything that is tagged with my literature note symbol as well as uh, my various keywords. So to create a query, this is the syntax query. I have an and uh, bracket here looking for when both of these are true. And so not only could you normally see, you know, all the full context of this, but it has this table view so that I can see all of these items within a table. I can click them to open them up in the sidebar very easily. So that itself is, is, is pretty awesome. Just being able to see your queries as a table. Now, a little bit more advanced that you can do with using attributes is something that I have set up within my information consumption uh, page. So let's take this, this Python course that I'm, that I'm doing. If you have a block set up with attributes, so you use both of these two colons. So I've defined the, the title, author, content type, note type, and the, and the status. Well, when you look at your, uh, table view for that query, you can see it creates a table with different, uh, properties. And you can set the properties that you want to show up in that in that table. So if I wanted to see the status, I can just toggle that that on. Uh, and this query is just simply looking for anything with orders. So with just a few characters, I've created this awesome table to look at my uh, data by different attributes that I have set up on those those pages. And you can also uh, sort based on the, the any of these columns that you have set up here. So really powerful and easy to use queries. And these are just the basic queries. I think there's even more advanced queries that you can do that you can write uh, yourself. But even just the basic stuff is really powerful and really cool to be able to use. So I couldn't resist throwing in a couple bonus features that I like about LogSeq. The first one being that it has a built-in plugin store. So if you want to extend the functionality of your graph, you don't have to leave the application. You just can come up to uh, these three little dots, click plugins. You can see the ones that you have installed. You can check them for updates and you can go to the marketplace and be able to search through, browse and install them directly without having to leave LogSeq itself. And the last one, uh, it might be really important for a lot of people, is the fact that LogSeq is free to use. So if you are interested in giving LogSeq a try, just head over to LogSeq dot com so you can download your own uh, version to play around with really cool note taking out with some really cool features that I highlighted in this video so thanks everyone for watching if there are any cool features that you think I missed that I didn't put on this list perhaps I just don't know about them let me know down in the comments below and let me know if there's anything that you didn't know that LogSeq could do that you learned uh, through this video I would love to hear about it and I will see you all next time